Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? This is one skill and today I will teach you something cool as I usually do. So let me demonstrate. So basically today I will teach you a cool transition from one slide to another which is called parallax. And if you don't know what is parallax, I will gladly demonstrate to you. On the internet nowadays there are many websites who use this nice effect. So just look at this photo and look what happens when I scroll the mouse wheel. As you can see the photo stays fixed in place while the rest of the website content is scrolling and covering the photo. How cool is that? I think it's really cool. And this is just one of the many parallax examples. For example, on this website, just look what happens when I scroll. As you can see, the photo is not staying in place as in the previous example, but it actually it goes up and down at a slower pace together with the uh, website content. So it really gives that 3D effect. And I think it looks really cool and we will try to recreate this effect together in PowerPoint. So let's look at the finished result once again so that we will know what we want to do. So as you can see the photo with the mountains moves uh, slightly upwards and then boom comes the blue rectangle the second slide with the text to the misty mountains so nice let's select all of the objects and delete them so that we can start from scratch first step is to, to find a nice beautiful photo and we can go to website unsplash.com which is full of nice free and beautiful photos that you can use for your powerpoint project and for this project, I will use this photo with some nice blue mountains. So just right click, copy image. Let's get back to PowerPoint and paste it, paste the image into the slide. It might take a couple of seconds, hopefully not minutes, because photo is pretty large. But I'm sure we will get this photo sometime in the future. Very soon, very soon. Yes. Oh, so you can see it's really pretty big. Let's zoom out so that we can see the whole picture. Select the photo, grab any corner of this photo. And let's place it onto the slide. And as you can see, my slide format is HD. HD means that dimensions of the slide are 16 to 9. And it's a really cool way in PowerPoint when you want to crop a photo to these dimensions, 60 to 9. And it's really easy to do. Just go to Format, Crop, Aspect Ratio and choose 16 to 9. And PowerPoint will think for a moment and here you go just press crop and now you will have a photo which is cropped to dimensions 60 16 to 9 and let's make some finishing positioning touches and you have a photo which nicely and perfectly covers the whole slide now the next step Go to insert, find a text box and insert a text box. Write any text inside that you want. Let's give it a font size of 60, font color white. In this case I'm using font called Sego UI Semi Bold. And let's position this text box in the middle of the slide. And yeah! We have done it. 
it's not the end but we have already done some progress so we have a background and we have a text box now what we have to do we have to create a second slide but we create it actually in the same slide so let's remove the outline we don't need the outline and we can color this rectangle with the help of the eyedropper tool with the same color as these dark blue mountains at the bottom so make sure that the size of this blue rectangle is the same as the whole slide and just put it at the bottom okay now what we have to do we have to select three objects Ooh. And before selecting these three objects, we actually have to create a second text box. Then we will have three objects. Yeah, <laughs> I just went too far ahead, I guess. And let's write something in the second text box, like to the Misty Mountain. It will be like continuation to welcome to the Misty Mountains. Okay, now let's select the three objects. So three objects will be two text boxes and the blue rectangle at the bottom. Uh, you can select the objects, multiple objects, by holding down the shift key and clicking on all of them. And after you have selected all of them, go to group and group them all together so that we have one nice group. And it will be easier for us to apply animations. What we have to do now, we have to add a motion path which is called up. So find that motion path and select it. And now you can click on this red bubble and you can uh, select or you know set where you want your animation to finish. And make sure that you uh, hold down the shift key when you are adjusting this motion path because holding down the shift key will give you a straight nice path. Make sure that this blue rectangle fully covers the photo because we want uh, the slide which will come from the bottom to fully cover, cover the photo. Okay, so let's check out what we have done so far. Go to animation and press play. So cool. We can check it out on the full screen. So after I click, we have this stuff happening. So it's pretty cool on itself already. But what we want to do additionally, we want to add animation to the photo. So that the photo is moving upwards slightly as well. So that we get the parallax effect that we are looking for. And to do that, we have to add animation to the photo. An easy way to, uh, to add animation to the photo is that we can already copy the animation from the blue rectangle and just paste it to the photo. So just select the blue rectangle and click Animation Painter and just click on the photo. And you'll have the animation pasted to the photo. Just make sure that animation starts with previous so that everything, all the animation starts at the same time. Another useful thing in PowerPoint is that you can hide objects that you don't need. For example, you have many objects on the slide and everything looks very cluttered and you just want to see one object. So there's a useful tool that you would, uh, with which you can hide the objects. Just go to Home, Select, Selection Pane. In this case, I want to hide all of the objects, object, blah, 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 objects <laughs> except the photo. Okay, so now we can easily uh, manipulate this motion path. As you can see, we have pasted the motion path and it's a little bit too long for this photo. We actually want the photo to go upwards just uh, slightly let's say half of the slide 
So let's reduce this motion path to something like this. Okay, let's set back the visibility back so that we can see all of the objects and let's check out what we have done so far. So as you can see, the photo with the mountains is slightly moving upwards and we have created this parallax effect. So congratulations, dear watcher, dear YouTube fan. Okay. And I have created another presentation. I was just testing some things out and I think I'll show it to you because maybe you'll get some more ideas or some inspiration for your own projects. So this is parallax effect in action as well. Just added some random text and a few photos just to see how it might look like with the parallax. So I think it's pretty cool as well. So I hope that you have found this tutorial not too complex and if you have any questions just write in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And please like, comment and share and I wish you all of the best in your future PowerPoint projects. Good luck and see you on my next video.